Hi, I'm Debbie, and welcome to my channel, Divine Destiny with Debbie. Today we're reading for July 8th and 9th, Monday and Tuesday, for my Cancers. Happy birthday, my Cancers. How are you? So, short reading. I just used my Radley Valentine Angel Tarot cards. I have prayed, meditated, and infused the deck with Reiki energy. But remember, this is a general reading. It may or may not resonate. Take what you like. Leave the rest. Do you need a hug? Oh, cards flew. Do you need a hug, my my cancers? Do you need a hug? I I want to give you big hug because things things are getting better. But of course, of course. And this is the hard part about when things get better is any kind of setbacks. They they hit they pull back those old emotions. So you know those you you know you've been moving so forward you know and then there's this setback and I don't even know if it's a setback it's just kind of a something from that past revisiting that past action revisiting again remember this is Mercury retrograde things from the past will come back I feel that you are so much stronger things are getting better for you just you know old triggers it's like old triggers um, you know old triggers are pulled and they pull your old responses or they try to they try to and you not responding the way you always respond it feels icky it feels icky inside um while you're going through it but once you get over it you're like wow hey you know what that's okay it's okay that's that's on them that's not me and i I, you know, again, we, you know, looking back those three months, six months, it's like each time, each period, it's like, you know what? I am just doing better and better with how I respond to this. Just be aware Mercury retrograde is going to bring back those old triggers. It doesn't mean the same circumstances, but the triggers and, you know, you have control over the responses, but sometimes, you know, the immediate, it's like a startle of respect, a startled Oh, a startle reflex, okay? And it, it pulls you back to that time. Just be aware of it. And then, okay, I acknowledge it, move on from it. Three cards face down. Also, too, I feel very strongly um, your guardian angels, archangels are moving you forward again. Um, you know, just, just keep, keep your eyes to that future, okay? Okay. First card face down. The Empress, here's Guardian Angel, or Archangel, I should say, I'm sorry. Archangel Gabriel, very strong. So some messages, you might be getting some messages. Um, I feel a lot of strength in this message, you know. So uh, I feel very positive strength in this message. Now, remember to, my readings are such, when we're talking energies and such in this, it this is Monday and Tuesday, but this could be, you know, for the whole month of July, too. This could just go forward. This could be the start of it, or it could just be a continuation of that same energy. Also, too, the readings are such, and I don't know who needs to hear it, but if you go back to my past readings and something really calls to you, it doesn't mean that that was, you know, it, it means the message gets to the receiver at the right time. So there could be something from, you know, way back when, and you're like, no, I need to watch that. Know that, okay? So this is, again, messages are coming. Um, I feel that a very strong, I feel strong messages. Strong messages. I feel Archangel guidance, Archangel watching. And this is Gabriel, the Empress. Lavish abundance. Give birth to your dreams. Nurture yourself and others. So this is something, I feel this is going to bring you comfort. Whatever this message is will bring you comfort. Next card. Again, we have, you know, I was saying about angels, right? And here we have Archangel Zedkiel. So here we have our two Archangel energies. And so, you know, when this is around, you have choices whether to um, ignore. You don't have to. You Really, you don't have to interact. You don't have to. Or you can choose to connect. Now, I look at my connections with my higher power, my divine, you can say guardian angel, spirit guides, the voice of the universe, whoever that is. You can choose whether or not to connect or not connect. But I feel that this is very strong, um, you know, archangel. Well, this is very strong archangel energy, at least for this Monday and Tuesday, probably for the 
for longer than that and you know that they're kind of shoring you up you know like they you know shoring like they're you know they're holding your back and they're you know, when you want to kind of collapse behind those old triggers are hitting you they're keeping you straight they're keeping you standing okay so that also too whenever that happens um, and pretty much on a daily basis, we should do a quiet thank you. So the need for balance and moderation, cooperation and compromise, wait for perfect timing. So now let's see what our last card is. Again, again, we have the three, we have three very strong archangel energies here. Very strong. Now this is the moon. This is about things that are hidden, things that you're not quite, you don't know. I do feel that there is a lot of activity for my cancers, um, you know, and also too, I'm, I'm picking up Gemini. I don't know what that's about. If there's a Gemini person that's helping you or, or it's just that twin energy because the twin energy that could go with balance. I'm not quite sure, but maybe that means something to someone out there. But this is, you know, this is, there's things that you don't know that are in the works. I do not feel that these are harmful to you. Actually, I feel that this will benefit you. I feel that your worry, you know, the worry, those old, those, those responses that those triggers have been trying to um, have you reenact, um, you know, I want you, to, I mean, you, you have to deal with them. You do have to deal with them. You have to acknowledge them, but I want you to acknowledge and let, and hopefully push them away from you. Remember, this is that time if, so, if you are getting those triggers, send that energy back, okay? Cover me with your cloak of protection, whoever that is to you. But again, I feel that there's things you don't know that's going to be revealed. It's going to be revealed. Or maybe there are things you do know, but it seems like nobody else knows, okay? It's like, you know, working with that person that everybody says, oh, that person's so great. And you're like, that person's not even doing their work. And then all of a sudden it's like, wow, that person's not doing their work. It's things that, you know, big secrets will be coming out. Big secrets, okay? Hopefully they're not yours. I don't feel that they are yours, but, you know. Now, to remember, you are very affected by the phases of the moon. Um, so just, you know, be aware of that too. So important psychic insights, events behind the scenes, release fears that hold you back. Yeah, I feel that this, um, this month, I feel Mercury retrograde for you is going to be trying to bring old triggers they will come back they will the old triggers but you have a bunch of new responses for them and i'm very proud of you i am my cancers so my cancers as always know that you are loved and be blessed bye bye